Hello everyone. أهلا وسهلا بطلاب الصف الخامس الابتدائي with the science lesson. Welcome back all of you. تحت رعاية وإشراف وزارة التربية والتعليم. هناخد النهاردة science. Okay. Let's begin our new term, the second term, with the first lesson in this first unit. The first unit which is about the fraction. So let's start with the first lesson of it and know what is the fraction. So let's start. The first lesson we have, as I said, which is the friction. يعني إيه friction that we want to know in this lesson. عايزين نعرف يعني إيه friction. عشان نفهم أكتر friction. Okay, let's see this. For example, okay, we have in here a slide. When you slide on this slide, okay, your body is in touch with the slide, right? وبالتالي لما بتنزل لتحت كده بيبقى في ايه بيبقى في contact content او touch ما بين your body and the slide and also the second picture when you rub your hand لما بتعمل rubbing your hand to feel warm okay لما بنعمل كده ايه اللي بيحصل بنحرك ايدينا okay فبالتالي بيبقى في two object او two surfaces in touch okay two surfaces in touch and one of them moved in opposite direction of the other that's the friction طب برضه يعني ايه to know, أو عشان نفهم أكتر تعال نأخد another example. Another example which is the ball. الكرة, yes. إزاي? When you kick a ball for, it moves for a short distance. زي ما لما نيجي نعمل كيك لأي كرة بتتحرك لي for a short distance and then it will its speed بتقل بعد كده اللي بيحصل في الآخر it stops. طب يا ترى الكرة بتقف لي في الآخر because of the friction. When a ball is kicked to roll along the ground. It moves a distance. Then it stops. But off. This ball is stopped by the effect of a force which is called the friction force. But off is a friction. The kura lama bitharak ala ground. The kura dia tohtabar a object will ground bardu be a fee contact ma binhum. Content ma binhum. Aw touch ma binhum. فبيتهيل ال two surfaces لما الكورة تتحرك بيبقى في content أو touch ما بينهم فده بيسبب إن حاجة تطلع which is the friction force the friction force arises ده اللي بيخلي الكورة إنها تقف طيب فبيتهيل what is the definition of the friction force تعالوا نعرف the definition the definition of the friction force is that it's a force between two surfaces in contact two surfaces in contact that acts in the opposite direction to the direction of motion and causes the object to slow down and stop. In the to off the other. Zay the friction between the ball and the ground. The kura tetharak. We have a fee touch between them between the ground. The ball tetharak tetharak. We have a friction force. So in the end, what happens? It stops. It off. So we have any any friction force. It's the force between two surfaces in contact that acts in the opposite direction to the direction of motion and causes the direction to slow down and stop. في طبعا different types of friction وده اللي احنا عايزين نعرفهم او عايزين نتعلم نتعلمهم ايه طيب what are the different types of friction type number one which is the friction between solid objects type number two which is friction between solid objects and air and number three which is friction between the solid objects and water in harder, we will just talk about the first one, which is the friction between the solid objects. The friction between the solid objects. To understand the friction between solid objects, let's take that activity together. We have in here a boy who rides a bicycle. And then a bike here. When the bike is moving, when you pedal the bike, فكر كده معي اللي بيحصل. When you ride the bike. The wheel of the is the tire of the bicycle. But it moves, صح؟ لما تتحرك بيبقى في طبعا contact بينها وما بين the ground. طبعا بتتحرك ال the tire بتتحرك كده وال ground in in the opposite direction. So friction بيكون إيه in the opposite direction. طيب بروحه كده معي تاني. To explain that activity, when the bicycle tire touches the ground or touches the road, the friction force arises. أول ما يبقى في touch ما بين two surfaces يبقى في friction force. 
and then the effect of friction is in the opposite direction of the movement. Friction be in the direction of the movement. آخر حاجة stopping pedaling. لو طلنا نحنا نعمل pedaling لل للبايك إيه اللي بيحصل؟ the speed be ill. بعد كده هتمشي الفترة and then finally it will stop. يبقى عندنا هنا stopping pedaling leads to increased friction force. The friction force be zed. فلما the friction force be zed بيخليها تبطأ في الآخر تقف. So the stopping Stopping pedaling leads to increase of friction force, so the bike slows down and then until it stops. Okay, so what we can conclude from this activity? The first conclude. We can conclude that friction force arises when two surfaces touch each other. Let me be two surfaces, when it need touch each other, we have friction force. Number two, that the direction of the friction force is opposite to the direction of the movement. لو في مثلا عندنا object, the object ده بيتحرك كده يبقى أكيد the direction of the friction عكسه. ده بيتحرك كده the what object the solid with the solid فلو حركته كده بيبقى في بينهم touch يبقى هيبقى في friction وال friction دائما بيكون in the opposite direction. Okay, so the direction of the friction force is opposite to the direction of the movement. Number three, that the friction force is the reason of stopping or for stopping the body during motion. The body is going to move. So, the friction is good. The friction is the first thing that increases with the actor of the movement force. The object is off. زي ما شفنا في الكرة، الكرة بتتحرك لفترة وبعد كده بتقف لي due to the friction force. يبقى عندنا هنا friction force is the reason for stopping the body during motion. Number four that when the friction force is larger than the movement force، لما تكون ال friction هي الأكثر من ال movement force، then the body doesn't move and vice versa. مش هيقدر يتحرك لأن ال friction أكثر. طب لو ال friction force قليلة معنى كده ان ال movement force تبقى اكتر فهيقدر يتحرك. اوكي؟ okay. طيب. Let's take now the reason question. Slowing down or stopping the body during its motion. ليه ال object دايما بيحصل في الاخر انه يقف؟ ليه الكورة لما بنعمل لها كاك when you kick up when you kick a ball it stops it. في الاخر هتقف هتتحرك لفترة بس في الاخر هتقف. Why? Slowing down or stopping the body during its motion due to the friction force. Due to the friction force that affects in the movement. بتأثر على حركتها. Now, بعد ما فهمنا يعني إيه friction, عرفنا يعني إيه friction, عرفنا that there are three types of friction, وإحنا إحنا بس تكلمنا عن أول type, which is the friction between solid objects. دلوقتي بقى عايزين نتكلم عن the factors that are affecting the friction force. يا ترى ايه الحاجات اللي بتأثر على ال friction force؟ We have three factors that are affecting the friction force. Factor number one, the type of the surface material. Factor number two, the speed of the body. Factor number three, which is the surface area of the moving object. طب ازاي الحاجات دي بتأثر على ال friction؟ هنتكلم عن كل واحدة in more details but for now we'll just talk about the first one which is the type of the surface material عشان نفهم أكتر the type of the surface material is زي ال type تاع ال surface material بيأثر على friction force let's watch together that video هنتفرج على الفيديو ده والفيديو ده it's from Bank المعرفة نركز فيه سوا وبعد كده نرجع تاني ونقول فهمنا ايه from that video force is affected by some factors one of these factors is the material of the surface. Let's see what happens to the friction force when we change the material type of the surface. First, drag the mug onto the table. Then drag the piece of rough carpet with the piece of adhesive tape on it, under the mug, and stick them together. After that, drag the spring scale to connect it to the mug's hand. 
This spring scale is used to measure the effect of the piece of carpet when you pull the mug. Now, click the spring scale to pull it to the right. You will notice that the pointer of the spring scale moves to this point. Now, drag the piece of cardboard with the piece of adhesive tape on it under the mug and stick them together. To measure the movement, click on the spring scale. You will notice that the reading of the spring scale pointer while using the cardboard is less than the reading when you used the piece of carpet. Then, drag the piece of silk with the adhesive tape on it under the mug and stick them together. Now, click on the spring scale to pull it to the right. You notice that the reading of the spring scale pointer while using the silk is less than the reading when you use the carpet and the cardboard. The value of the spring scale will change every time when you change the type of material under the mug. The friction force depends on the type of surface material, where it decreases between smooth surfaces and increases between rough surfaces. That's it. Okay. We're going to see the video. We understand that there are different shapes and shapes between the type of surface material. When it becomes rough or smooth, it will affect the friction force. So we can conclude that the friction force increases between rough surfaces and decreases between smooth surfaces. For example, if we have two poles, okay, and then a curtain, two poles, and then our pole, okay, he will kick it on a ceramic. ceramic. And the other one, you kick it on a grass. طبعاً الجراس ده يعتبر رف سيرفس لكن السيراميك سموث سيرفس هنلاقي ان الكورة هتقدر انها تحصل لها موفمنت ان دي ان دي رف سيرفسز لفترة لمسافة قصيرة لكن في السيراميك وتش از سموث سيرفس لمسافة أطول ليه؟ لأن الفريكشن فورس في السموث سيرفس قليلة فبالتالي الكورة هتقدر تتحرك مسافة أطول لونجر ديستنس وال ذا أذر وان وتش از The ball on a rough surface, a rough surface with a friction force actor. So when friction force is more actor, it will go to a distance shorter, and then it will go off. It will mean the friction force increases between rough surfaces and decreases between the smooth surfaces. Okay, by that, we have covered the first part of lesson number one, which is friction. So let's now take some questions about it. So let's go. So let's now start our questions. Question number one. Put right or wrong, the friction force is always in the same direction of the object's movement. How can the friction force be in the same direction or in the opposite direction? For example, the pole moves in that direction. So it touches the ground. When it touches the ground, it moves in the opposite direction. So it moves in the opposite direction, not in the same direction. إنها بتتحرك كده نعتبرها زي إيه؟ إن هي بتتحرك الكورة بتتحرك بالشكل ده والجراوند بيبقى بالعكس يبقى in the opposite direction. So the friction force is always in the same direction of the object's movement. Wrong, it's in the opposite direction. Time. Another right or wrong. The friction force increases between rough surfaces. نفتكر rough surface with smooth surface. Rough surface زي الجراس, smooth surface زي الceramic. الكرة بتتحرك بمسافة أطول في السيراميك معنى كده إن الفريكشن قليل بتتحرك لمسافة أقصر في الجلاس في الجراس معنى كده إن في الرف سيرفيس الفريكشن فورس بيكون كتير يبقى عندنا هنا the friction force increases between rough surfaces yes it's a true statement أو true sentence okay يبقى تاني the friction force increases between rough surfaces right and for sure for the smooth surfaces it has the friction force بتكون قليلة Now, complete the following. The effect of friction force is in the which direction of the object's movement? It can be any direction in the opposite direction. So again, the effect of the friction force is in the opposite direction of the object's movement. Another question. Friction force increases between which surfaces? And between the smooth surface. 
friction force increases between the, the rough surfaces and decreases between the smooth surfaces. Tiny, the friction force increases between rough surfaces and decreases between the smooth surfaces. Okay, we have the part for today. Let's take a quick revision. If you have friction, friction, for example, like when you rub your hand to feel warm, okay, when uh, a boy um, slide on the slider, okay, uh, for example, tiny pole, when you kick a pole on the ground, لما بيحصل في إيه لما عندنا two objects or two surfaces in contact, two surfaces in contact or in touch, في friction force بيطلع, في force arises between them, which is the friction force. طب يا ترى إيه هي ال friction force اللي بتطلع when uh, we rub your hand? When you rub your hand, the friction force arises. طب يعني إيه friction force تاني? Friction force it's the force that results when two surfaces in contact and uh, it's it arises in the opposite direction to the direction of movement that causes the object to slow down until it stops. لغاية ما يقف. اتفقنا كمان ان الفريكشن فورس في منهم انواع. في فريكشن uh, between the solid objects. في another friction which is a friction between the uh, object and air. Uh, another, ob another friction which is friction between the object and water. When harder, we just talk about the first one, which is the friction between the solid objects. And if we come in, in the friction between solid objects, there are factors that are affecting it. Three factors that affect it. The following are three factors. And today, we just talk about the first factor, which is the type of the surface material. Type of the surface material, meaning if it is rough or smooth. Tiny, rough or smooth. You better understand that the friction force increases in the rough in the rough surfaces and decreases in the smooth surfaces. With that, we will cover all the parts we have covered today. The first part of lesson one, which is the friction. Inshallah, tomorrow we will talk about the second part. We will come in lesson one, which is the friction. So uh, that's it for today. Thank you for listening and watching. And goodbye. See you next time.